it's going to be a vlog. I thought it would be kind of an interesting shift to start adding these vlog elements onto the channel just to give you guys more of a casual look, something more relaxed and personable. It feels a little bit more intimate when uh, I vlog. Right now, I'm going to head into my office space and try to get organized a little bit. Believe it or not, I'm already behind, even though classes started on Monday. So I've decided to go with the calendar for the reason that prior to this, I was using my agenda, which has the calendar month spread, which I, I, I have used, but I realized that this is not something that I refer to very often. I spent most of my time on the weekly spreadsheets. And so I get kind of forgetful of that page. And I figured having this on my wall would give me constant a constant visual of what I need to do and I I feel like that would be a more effective strategy so I'm going to organize this a little bit put it on my wall and see how it works for me for the first few months and maybe we strategize if it's not working So I'm pretty much done with organizing my paper calendar and I don't remember exactly if I did mention it, but I do use Google Calendar or the Apple Calendar to keep myself organized, but I use it more so as a time blocking technique. I find that sometimes I'm not sure how to properly divide my time and in the past semester I realized that I was not designating enough time to study. So with this new time blocking technique, I'm hoping that I can allocate my time a little bit more evenly between work, school, these YouTube videos, social life, and all and everything else. So yeah, I'm a little hungry, so I'm gonna make myself a breakfast even though it's 1.24 p.m. Okay, now that I'm a little bit more energized, I think I want to spend a little bit of time just brainstorming ideas that I would like to upload on this channel for the rest of the year, just to have a tentative schedule and to keep myself accountable. Um, and I think having these vlogs will be a great way to talk about certain topics and bring up certain conversations onto the platform. But I do want to create high quality content as well and talk about the research and make them very engaging. So I'm thinking I want to maybe do one a month. Um, the goal is to upload a video a week, but I'm thinking a highly produced video at least once a month would be nice to have on the channel. Um, and then the other ones will be sort of in the vlog style. I think that'll be nice. Just like that, the calendar is now on the wall. So I'm kind of having a lot of second thoughts about this calendar. Um, I don't know if I love it, but it's a little too late for that. So I'm going to keep it and try to figure out how to make it a little bit more appealing to the eye. But for now, I realized that it's actually super late in the day and I haven't really accomplished accomplished too much. So I'm going to sit here a little bit and get some reading done for one of my classes. So it's actually almost 5 p.m. right now. I'm waiting for my professor.
professor to upload the lecture for the class. Um, so I'm taking five classes. I don't know if I mentioned that. And one of them is a public health foundation of public health class, which is interesting because in the summertime, I took another uh, public health class, but I'm assuming this one is more focused on nutrition. So I'm kind of excited for this. And the professor is choosing to not do actual Zoom sessions but but instead she's recording the lesson so i'm waiting for her to upload that um and the other classes that i'm taking is research um i have to take two semesters of research i've opted out of doing a thesis so instead i'm going to take two semesters of research that should also be really interesting um along with that i'm taking a class called seminar I also had to take two semesters of it and this one is very similar to research in the sense that you get a topic and you kind of have to do some research on it and do a presentation and you know you will be evaluated by your peers they'll ask you questions so you have to know a lot about whatever topic that you choose so that class seems kind of stressful but i've taken it already and i think i did really well the other class that i'm taking is medical nutrition therapy so it's the lesson as well as the lab um, overall, I am excited for the semester. I just have one last semester and then I can start um, my internship, which I'm kind of not looking forward to right now because it's an internship that I have to pay for and I can't really work while I'm interning and it's roughly a nine month process. I have to complete 1200 hours. So it should theoretically take three semesters to do. So I'm not really looking forward to it, but I'm really excited to do more hands-on learning. Anyway, I don't know if you guys noticed, I put up this painting here. Actually, my sister did this for me for my undergrad graduation. I had it in my living room, but I moved it here. So I don't know if you guys noticed a difference in my background, just thought I would mention it. Anyway, I'm going to log on right now to see if the lecture is uploaded and I'm going to sit here and get some work done. finished with my class it is now roughly 8 p.m i'm making myself some dinner i'm gonna have some rice and eggs which honestly i love i know i'm having it tonight because i skipped breakfast this morning and because i'm running low on groceries but i love to eat rice and eggs you add a little bit of sesame oil some green onions it's just, it hits the spot and it's really quick to make especially if you already have the rice cooked in the fridge but anyway, I quickly wanted to talk a little bit about the study of nutrition because I feel like a lot of people do not understand the scope of the knowledge that is, that is required from a registered dietitian. So for instance, in my school career curriculum so far, I've taken all types of classes. I ha I've had to take microbiology, so many types of chemistry classes. Um, I took biochemistry i've taken a class called food science which was actually really interesting a huge portion of the class was dedicated to learning about gluten development but we've learned so many things such as fats and how it behaves in like different types of recipes uh, I've taken a whole semester dedicated to learning about protein, another semester dedicated to some, uh, to vitamins, another one for minerals. Next semester, I have to take a class on carbs and lipids, you know, and right now I'm taking a, a medical nutrition therapy class. So you're getting a really broad but also specific knowledge that I feel like. I would not be able to obtain on my own or it would take me a long time to kind of organize all of in all of the information in a way that makes sense so this is why i am choosing to be a registered dietitian although the process is a lot longer and although you know the <laughs> it costs a lot more i feel like i'm getting a better education out of it and um it would be kind of hard to help people if i didn't have the education to actually help
it is currently 8 a.m. I am waiting for a class to start at 9.30. But in the meantime, I am going to sit here and review the notes that I've taken and digitalize them. The reason why I do that is because I found that repetition is the best technique for me to remember information. So I like to see the information as often as possible. And the way that I digitalize them is through Notion. Notion is this web service where you can really do a lot of things. You can have a calendar, you can use it for your to-do list, you can use it to keep track of certain information. I mostly use it for academic purposes, I like to have all of my classes on there where I started using it back in October last year. So I don't have all of my classes on there, but the, the idea for me is to have all of my courses on there so that whenever I need to review the information, especially for the RD exam that I have to study for eventually, um, I'll have access to all of the materials that I've learned and be able to study from that, um, I guess, archive. So that's what I'm going to sit here and do for a little bit and wait for my class to start. Back and forth learning sessions for all of us. Um, I want you guys to, uh, to let me know if something works better, like if putting answers in the chat is better or if you guys want to. Um, I really like so, um, so you might get um, a person that has the same diagnosis. All right, the time is now 10.50 and I just finished class. I actually like to take notes doing the class session just to keep me engaged and, you know, just present in what's happening. So I put the notes in the same notebook and once I digitalize everything, I will put in the PowerPoint notes that I've taken as well as the class notes. But anyway, while I was in the middle of class, something happened. I just, I just have to show you guys. So while I was literally in the middle of class asking a question, my spice shell, one of them fell to the ground. So now my red chili flake and my coriander is all over the floor.